Uh, this is a little piece of lace that I made myself um, and I'm kind of, I think, I'm not sure if I made it bigger and this is an off cut, I can't remember, but I've got lots of stuff like this lying around and I just pick it up every now and then. Say I'm working on something before I go to bed and I need to damp stretch it, so I damp stretch it and then I've got half an hour before I go to bed or something, then I'll pick something like this up and just do a little bit of stitching on it and it's kind of morphing into a little sampler lace so there's a little bit of applique there's just like a finished hole with edge to be running stitch there's more finished holes over here so what i'm going to do today i'm just going to put a little bit of color behind one of these holes this is i bought this cloth recently i absolutely love it it's featuring a lot in my pockets um so and this may well just stay as it is i might cut it up to go in my little box i may even cut it small uh, bigger sorry I cut it up to go in my little books, it'll be quite small because they're, those pages are 5 by 5 inches. But the book I plan on making for myself is going to be a bit bigger. So therefore if I cut it up for that, it'll be bigger. I'll cut it up bigger into bigger pieces. But I haven't decided yet. Um, so I'll just keep working on it. I mean there's no rush, even if I don't use it in this batch of books, I'm using stuff in the last, I was using stuff in the last batch of books that I made over a year ago, some of it, uh, even longer than that, so it doesn't really matter when it gets used. And if you're wondering what I do with all these, I don't keep everything, I've got a glass cabinet in this room, um, quite a big one, not huge, but quite a big one, and anything like this is kept in there. Uh, things in progress, like my pockets that I'm working on. Uh, the ones that uh, mimic the ones I made in the handkerchief cloth they're laid in a pile in front of me actually on the back of this table but anything that isn't getting worked on on a daily basis like this to keep it okay and clean etc and free from harm that gets put in my glass cabinet so that's going to roll off the table um, just looking for a needle with a bigger eye because I know that I'll struggle if I don't <coughs> so and this, I mean, we eat on this table every day, but there's only three of us, there's only going to be two of us soon. And it's a big enough table for my little pile of stuff at the back there to not get in the way or to be at any risk of anything going wrong with it. Um, just actually put a knot in that. Now, I can't decide whether to put it in a hoop. Um, I don't think I will because it's so small, I mean it would fit in a hoop so I'm just going to chain stitch around here in white not in a colour with cotton broader white cotton broader, if you remember the other day I was using the coloured cotton broader was now this is quite thick in some parts, it's the way I make it so you get areas that are quite flimsy very early you know it's not even half past eight in the morning um, you get some areas that are quite flimsy and other areas that are really really thick so I'll just go around here yeah, it's half eight not even half eight in the morning so I got up early today because I've got a lot to do and I need to go out But it's a bank holiday, so nothing's open until half ten, eleven. So I didn't just want to be sitting twiddling my thumbs, and really I should be drawing. I need to do some drawing today for the new class. Um, and if you're on the new class, don't panic, you'd have to draw. It's just for me. It's kind of how I prep myself. Do a bit of doodling. So, well this is quite a big circle and you'll notice as well there's like all flimsy bits of lace at the edge I, I've just checked my viewer and I don't know if you saw any of that so I'll give more, pay more attention when I start again so and I'll cut these off eventually and use them in something else um, so don't worry that they'll get wasted 
I really, because I do get lost when I'm in my own thoughts when I'm making videos, even if I'm talking I've got a, the ability to talk and also get lost in my own thoughts and I do often, even in class I forget to check the viewer, they'll testify to that to make sure that you can see what I'm doing now it was already edged this circle, this opening, this hole with buttonhole lace but I think when this goes on and I take the tacking out it'll add a different kind of definition obviously as well because that cloth's in the back but um, I just think it'll give it a bit more oomph you know like I'm here while I'm here um, nearly all the way around I think um, got something damp stretching to the left and right of me, left right, to the right of me as well. That's for today for my blog, this is for tomorrow. Because I'm pre-empting because I've got an appointment tomorrow as well and uh, they're always at the most awkward times of day. Why can't everybody have appointments at 8am when I'm not doing anything? That'd be good, wouldn't it? So, I am going to actually do the uh, drawing this afternoon because it's been a bank holiday my son's at home. He's in bed at the minute because he didn't get back till 3 o'clock this morning, he's been away. But I won't be able to make videos or anything this afternoon if he's mooching about. So I'll, uh, I'll do my drawing this afternoon. Right, so that's it. I've gone all the way around. and. It's kind of like gives it a medallion feel. If I fasten that off and then take the tacking out, and I'll have to trim that from the back. So if I put that away, I'll need that actually to take the tacking out. So it's quite hard to see it, but it's there. Hmm, it's a shame. Be easier to see it from the back perhaps, but I've got it there. But if you struggle with anything like that, don't forget you can always look at the back. The back's generally more obvious and in your face. So let's cut this off. I do love this cloth. I don't know what it is, well I do know what it is, it's, you probably got it as well, you just want to buy every little bit of cloth that you see, that you love. Right there, so that's that, that's how that looks. I'll pull it in. Definitely a worthwhile task. Um, that's kind of like a double edged one already, there's nothing in the back of there. And that, I think that adds something there, I really do think that looks good. Hopefully it'll look good in the photographs as well. Okay.